induction heater is widely used in domestic and industrial purpose. The most familiar use of induction heater is for cooking food. Let's see how this thing works. Suppose we have a straight wire. When a current is passed through this wire, a magnetic field is formed. If the amount of current increases, the strength of magnetic field also increases. And a change in direction of electric current leads a change in direction of magnetic field. Similarly, if we have a coil, here also on increasing the current, the strength of magnetic field also increases. And a change in direction of electric current leads a change in direction of magnetic field. Let's apply this concept for understanding the induction heating. An induction coil is the most important part of an induction heater. When we connect this coil with the alternating voltage, a pulsating magnetic field is formed. A high-frequency alternating voltage is generated for induction coil by using an electronic oscillator. We can understand the oscillator by this simple setup. Similar to this battery, an oscillator acts like a source with changing polarity for our induction coil. Please note that it is a very rough explanation of an oscillator. In reality, oscillator uses controlled power switches for their working. Oscillator provides a frequency of around 50 kHz, means, in one second, the direction of magnetic field changes 1 lakh times, which is a very big number. Let's see how a cookware reacts to this pulsating magnetic field. When we place a metal cookware in the pulsating magnetic field, eddy current generate in the cookware due to a phenomenon called electromagnetic induction. In fact, the name, induction heater comes from the word electromagnetic induction, as it is the basic principle of its working. Eddy currents produces a large amount of heat, which heats up your food very fast. Induction heating is not only the fastest method, but it is also the most efficient method of heating. That is because energy is directly transferred from coil to the cookware, but there are some limits of induction heating, as its working is entirely based on eddy currents, hence it can't be used for heating materials having very high or very low resistance. Like, we can't heat food in a glass cookware because of its high resistance. Induction heating is best suitable for ferromagnetic materials like steel because of their magnetic behavior and suitable resistance. A lot of effort is applied in making this video. Subscribe my channel if you like such content.